fighting in Colonel Gaddafi's hometown of Sirt, one of his last remaining strongholds. Forces loyal to the country's new authorities enter the city supported by NATO planes. The offensive against Sirt, which lies around 250 miles southeast of Tripoli, started a fortnight ago. And Gaddafi loyalists have been pushing up fierce resistance. From there, our correspondent Alistair Leithhead reports. <laughs> Today, the new Libyan flag came a step closer to flying across the whole country. They gathered, as they have every day before, to advance on CERT. Civilians fled the city. They'd been told the rebels would cut their throats, but instead they were welcomed. Some had lucky escapes. CERT will welcome you. They're waiting for you, he said. It's open, take it. But the advance has been cautious. The first sign today was going to be different was a captured Gaddafi tank. The second was the smoke coming from Sirt roundabout, the city centre. A NATO bomb, they said, but we didn't see it hit. The green flag of Gaddafi was still flying, but it became clear they were entering the city. that they've taken the entrance to serve itself. This is celebratory gunfire. We've seen the flag come down. From here, it's into the city itself. They've made it through. But as the troops move forward, we pulled back and took cover as the battle for the streets began. Despite the civilians still living in this city, both sides traded rockets and heavy gunfire. Shells landed around us as they fought for control in the last hour of daylight. Sirt will soon fall, unless Gaddafi loyalists fight to the death for his birthplace. Yeah, Alistair yeah. Leithhead, BBC News, Sirt.